Hi, my name is Kevin Housel, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the USGS office in Middleton, Wisconsin. I would like to take a few minutes to talk about gauge height of zero flow, or GZF inspections using SWAMI. For this screencast, we will briefly explain how to determine your GZF. The GZF is measured at the point of zero flow, or PZF, which is a physical location on the control where zero flow conditions exist essentially the deepest point on the control. Once you have located the PZF, determine the GZF by measuring the depth of water and subtracting that from the gauge height. In your depth determination, be sure to consider the pileup on the rod caused by the velocity head. The GZF inspection task is accessed from the site visit task screen. From the site visit task screen, we will begin by clicking on the GZF inspection button. You can manually enter the time by clicking the blank field next to time, or you can click on the blue time to have the field automatically populated with the current time. Next, enter your current stage, followed by the depth of water measured at the PZF, and the accuracy of the reading. You will notice the GZF is automatically computed. You should describe where on the control the PZF was found in the comment field along with other notes. For example, the PZF was measured three feet from the left edge of water. Once you have completed the inspection, click the Done button. This concludes our demonstration of the GZF inspection. If you have any questions documenting the GZF in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.